Hey everybody, it's Robbie from Detroit Driver, and today I wanted to try something new. I'm here at my apartment at school. We got a little bit of a Detroit Driver set up here with my flag in the background and my Bugatti over here to the side. And I really just wanted to, uh, in this video, try a new concept where I give my first impressions of a car or impressions of a car, and maybe we can go over some specifications of it. So um, due to the timing of this video and obviously the title, you might have guessed what I think is the perfect car to start out with the new Chevrolet Corvette Z06. So let's talk a little bit about it and then we'll try and inspect it if we can. So let's do it. All right, so here we are on the Corvette Z06 page. The car just came out a couple of days ago on October 25th and I saw the premiere live. Um, the video that they showed was absolutely epic and I just fell in love with the Z06 right away. So for those of you that don't know, um, we have the new, you know, C8 mid-engine Corvette, and the Z06 is a variant of that that's really been focused on the track. Um, they've done this in the past um, with other Corvette models, and it was really highly anticipated for the new C8. Um, so obviously on this page, there's a lot of information, and if you haven't seen the video yet, um, the launch video, it's incredible. So you have to check that out, but you can see there's sort of clips um, uh, throughout this page. So just a few very interesting um, features. Uh, it has a mid-engine V8, um, and insanely it produces 670 horsepower. Um, with the Z07 package, which is a which is a trim level that you can get on the Z06, which kind of has this wing that you can see here and a couple extra uh, features um, and some carbon fiber wheels, which we'll look at a little later. Um, there, they're estimating a zero to 60 time of 2.6 seconds, which is just insane. So. Um, not only do you have this highest power naturally aspirated V8 engine ever, but you have this insane zero to 60 time. And the crazy part is that this car starts under $100,000 um, at roughly 97,000 is the starting price that I've seen. So um, just, just truly incredible things um, coming out of Chevy and Corvette with this car. And it's just, I mean, the specs are insane. You can, you can go over them yourselves over here. Um, you know, huge 21 inch wheels in the back, 20 inch wheels in the front. Uh, obviously we have a coupe and convertible version um, and even the coupe version, the, the roof is removable and storable in the back. Um, so over the normal C8, we have a little bit of a, a different exterior features. We have like a Z06 badge here, which you can see um, a little bit of a different front fascia and the rear is a little bit reconfigured. Um, and I don't know if they have it on this page, but in the video, one thing that really stuck out was, um, the exhaust that they have and how they had to like tune and shape the exhaust to give you more noise as a driver, which I think is awesome. So um, we'll try and play these. Hopefully it comes through the speaker sound. Hopefully, hopefully you can hear that. Um, as it kind of accelerating, I think the 670 horsepower one has it starting up. So I don't know if that's gonna play right now. Um, but you can definitely take a listen on your own too, because I'm sure it's better audio that way. But, um, but I think it's time. Let's kind of go and do the fun part where we're going to spec the car. So here you can scroll to the bottom and design yours. And that's what we'll do. Got it. So here's kind of the configurator that they have. Um, so here's a, a standard thing, and then we can click customize. So Let's look first at the body styles. Um, so as we said, we have coupe and convertible. Um, the convertible has a hard top retractable roof on it. Um, but unfortunately with the convertible, you can't, you can't see the engine, um, but you do have this glass back here. So I guess if I go back to the, the coupe, maybe that we can look at the difference there so you can see the engine. But I think for fun, I'm gonna uh, spec the convertible because that is what I would want if I were actually buying this car. Um, so we have the convertible and then for a show, we can put the roof um, down by clicking the button up here. So that looks good. Now, uh, they have all these amazing colors um, on the new car. Uh, I have previously been a huge fan of the rapid blue on the C8 um, on the base one, but they came out with this new orange that was featured in the video that I absolutely loved. So I think um, we're going to go with that. Then you have a few different roof options here. Um, and you can have some more here. I'm a huge fan of the kind of dark contrast roof. 
Um, Ferrari does this and I love it. And I'm very happy to see that you can do it on Corvette too. Um, actually a lot of the automotive manufacturers do it. So I just really like it. So I think that's what we're gonna go with. Um, now this isn't the full configurator. When the, when the car actually comes out for sale or closer to the release dates, um, they will release a more in-depth one, um, which I can't wait for, but they did give us this sneak preview here, which is kind of cool. So a uh, huge fan of black rims. So I'm going to click the black Z06 rims um, because here we can kind of see a difference. So um, this is just the, if you want to call it the normal Z06. Um, so this is kind of the back spoiler that we have here. And then you have um, these wings or these rims as well. Now, if you want the Z07 package, um, at least in this configurator, you just have to choose one of the carbon fiber wheels. So again, let's choose the black one. Um, it tells you all these different options that are going to be added. Um, and in there, it says Z07 somewhere. And then with this, uh, you get the carbon fiber rims, the carbon ceramic brakes, um, and then the huge wing back here. And you have a couple extra um, downforce applications um, down there. Unfortunately, on this one, it doesn't really let you change the brake calipers. Um, ideally, you would not I would not want yellow brakes with this, um, probably either black, probably mostly black or silver or if they had orange, but um, that, that kind of looks good. And then I guess lastly, we'll move on to the interior. Um, really some great interior options, but to kind of copycat what they did um, with the launch specification or the one in the video, I'll kind of do this sky um, cool gray interior, uh, which I thought looked really, really nice. So look at these seats. Um, carbon fiber, you can see weaved in there. Um, carbon fiber steering wheel, just a really nice interior cabin. Um, super driver focused, obviously. I mean, this is basically a race car for the road, as they said, um, but of course has the, has the amenities of a Corvette and the features of that. Um, one other thing on this configurator that you can do is um, there's these car carbon fiber trim packages. Uh, I think they look, look pretty cool. Let's kind of add one here. Um, see what that does for us. So you can see carbon fiber everywhere, which is cool. Um, seems a little bit of an overload. So what I think I like um, is the stealth interior package. Oh, I guess you can do both. Oh, that looks mean. So yeah, you could really, really get this out with the white and the black contrast. And of course, um, maybe in the real one, they'll allow you to do more detail, but I think some orange stitching would look really cool. And I'm a huge fan of preferred seatbelts, so maybe orange seatbelts would make it nice. Please tell me what you thought of this. I know it's a little candid and the background's not fantastic, but um, I really, hopefully this allows you to get to know me a little more, um, share sort of my thoughts about these cars. Hopefully I'll be able to see one soon. Um, being in Detroit, I think we'll have a pretty good chance of spotting a few of these over the next um, year, uh, or at least uh, definitely a ton once they officially come out. So stay tuned for that. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I can't wait to see you next video.